My guest today is a best-selling author, a body language expert, and a corporate speaker. He's been seen on CBS, ABC, NBC, and Fox. And as a speaker, he educates and he trains sales teams how to effectively use their bodies to communicate more effectively and to know what the other side is actually truly thinking. From gestures as simple as a correct handshake to uh, as complex as micro expressions, body language can make up to 55% of our total communication. He's also a medical miracle. He was one of the first uh, of a handful of people to be selected for a clinical research program in which he received not only a kidney, but a stem cell transplant and bone marrow transplant from his donor. He is Michael C. Anthony, and he joins me in the studio right now. Hey, Joe. Hey, Michael, welcome. I, I'm here? almost afraid to shake yeah, your hand. Yeah, everyone's afraid to shake my hand, but well, there we go. Okay, so. <laughs> Beautiful. Five, so first of all, thank you for, for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. And uh, you're a Canadian by birth, but you've been living in the, in the U.S. Yeah. for a while. Actually, American by birth, but raised in Canada oh, really? from, from the time I was two years old, yeah. Okay. Born in Niagara Falls, New York, just a stone's throw away. Okay, so now you're, you're living in, in the U.S. in Florida. Tell us a little bit about what you do down there, yeah. and then I want to talk about some things that we can try here yeah. in the studio. I'm a, I'm a presenter and a speaker. Mm -hmm. I speak to corporate groups, and I teach about body language. I've always been a student of body okay. language. And I, I feel like i got <laughs> yeah, to get, get, your, get right. your posture set up. Okay there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, okay. I, but I wrote a book, and it's um, yeah, yeah, called yeah, Body Language here. Secrets, How to Read yep. Minds by Reading Bodies. Okay. And body language, as you mentioned in the intro, makes up for 55% of our communication, mm. which is a lot. It is. Uh, 38% is the tone of our voice, the pitch, the speed, hmm. the volume. Only 7% is the actual words that we use. Only 7%. Only 7%. Interesting. So, Interesting. Yeah, so when you're, you know, when you're working on something that is, uh, you know, if you have to give a, a speech or a sermon or anything like that, it's people are really more effective by what they see and how it's said as opposed to the actual words. Well, I feel like I should be taking notes because <laughs> after 14 years, I'm pastoring again, so I'm right. speaking almost every Sunday right. morning from the podium. Okay. But you know, how you, you know how you might hear one person speak, whether it be a pastor or a speaker in general, and you might, uh, it just doesn't connect for some reason because it mm -hmm. may have been too rehearsed and too studied. But authenticity just shows in people when, even though sometimes I'm sure you've heard somebody give a testimony, and they weren't the most eloquent person in the world, mm. but but it really spoke to you in a way and it really affected you because yeah. the authenticity It was genuine. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're living down there and you come on some of the talk shows and yep. you do analysis of... Yep. Of what, a body language, position, what? Yeah, I do things like the presidential debates, which is very hot right now. That probably keeps you busy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> these, these days it sure does. And yeah, we, t we talk about, you know, what does it mean? What does it mean when somebody crosses their arms? Um, you know, aside from it p potentially being chilly, but what does it mean? Is it good to cross your arms? Is it not good to cross your arms? And since we brought it up and people are wondering, we can say, talk about that for a second. Yeah. Uh, uh, it means a couple things. Two different extremes, actually. So when somebody crosses the arms, it could mean they are being defiant. It's a, it's a gesture in which they're protecting themselves. Historically, it means they're protecting the vital organs. Okay. So I'm being defensive to you right now. Mm -hmm. You may be speaking to me. I don't really want to hear it or I disagree. And, right. and so I, this is how I subconsciously tell you uh, or even subconsciously tell myself. But on the other end of the spectrum, Somebody who might be an expert at something. Um, for example, somebody, a real estate agent, for example, on their business card might have a picture of them like this. Right, I've seen that. It's yeah, very yeah, professional and, looking. Yeah, and you're right? saying, I'm an expert, I have knowledge, I have wisdom. Uh, so with all body language, you sort of have to draw a baseline. You have to say to yourself, okay, did that person move into a certain position at a certain time for a certain reason? You can't just automatically... Uh, can't just automatically say he crosses his arm, he's being, you know, he's got a, a negative defensive gesture there, and so therefore he doesn't like what I'm saying. No, you know, is it is it 55 degrees in the room? Maybe it's cold. You know, mm -hmm. so you have to sort of gather some information together before you actually make a call. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to embarrass yourself or embarrass somebody else or okay. think the wrong the wrong way about somebody when they could be as innocent as anything. Okay. Well, since I have you here, I, yep. I'm going to use this to my advantage. Okay. I'm a married man. Yep. I'm wondering, as, as a man, when we're having a conversation with yep. our spouse, maybe, you know, a disagreement or something, is there something that we as husbands, as men, that we shouldn't do or yes. the things that we should do to show that we are listening? Because, you know, honestly, sometimes I do this because I'm just actually, it's comfortable for me. Yeah. 
But what are some things that maybe we should or shouldn't do? Keep your body open at all okay. times. Uh, which, which would mean, of course, never cross the arms. But arms are out like this, and if you want to show yourself as attentive, a little bit of a forward lean, uh, chin is up, and eye contact. Mm -hmm. Eye contact is one of the most important things with any body language, because if your wife is talking to you and you want to be listening or, or mm -hmm. seem like you're listening, if you are checking your phone or if you're right. looking down at, at something on the table, that's going to communicate... Even even at a level that she doesn't understand and might you know she might not say hey you're not looking at me but it's communicating something even something like at a subconscious level that people aren't necessarily understanding but okay. but but she might walk away and say Jill wasn't even listening to hmm. that okay I'll take note of that mm -hmm. and we only have a couple of minutes left here so I want to get to some of the things we talked yeah. about handshakes you say you handshakes. can tell a lot. Yes. About a person. Love them or hate them. Handshakes okay. are here to stay, right? Historically, a handshake started like 500 BC. And the reason we shake hands, because people wonder why. Yeah. It was soldiers way back, you put both your arms out like this, they would go like this and touch each other's oh, arms right. to make sure they I've weren't armed. To make sure they weren't armed. Oh, yeah. So okay. that's where, historically, where it okay. comes from. So let's talk about. Um, Let's talk about the controller. This is called the, this one's called the controller, and we've all received these, whether yeah, yeah. it be in a business meeting or in church, right? When yeah, we shake yeah. hands, we get all these weird things. What do they really mean? Yeah. Controller is when I'm pulling. Oh, I, I don't okay. like when people do that. No. To me. Hey, how you doing? Yes. Like, Whoa. Yeah. It's 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 a sign of dominance. Somebody in okay. their mind, they 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 want to communicate to you that I'm in charge. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's talk about the lobster claw. Okay. Lobster claw. Okay. Lobster claw is this. So put your hand or shake my hand. Hey, there. Joe, how you doing? And I pinch. Oh, the pinch. Yeah, we've all received it, right? <laughs> I went right away to somebody who does the pinch. <laughs> okay, yeah. Drives me nuts. Yeah. This is somebody who is non-committal, doesn't want to make contact. They don't want to give the full skin to skin. And they, so they just they just give a pinch and walk away like <laughs> okay. that. Okay. Okay. The politician's handshake. And you've probably given it. You've probably yeah. received it. I've given it before, but there, there's a secret. The politician's handshake. We'll yeah. explain it first. We shake hands and I can get you here oh, with the other this. hand okay. or on the elbow yes. or on the forearm. I've hey, done that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And the reason they call it the politician's handshake is because... It lacks sincerity most times. Hmm. If I were to meet you for the first time and say, hey, Joe, how you doing? It's a little touchy-feely okay. because we don't have yeah. the relationship, right? Okay. But if it's, if it's a friend of yours that you have, you've known them for a long time, maybe you haven't seen them for a long time, hey, Joe, how's it going? Good to right, see you. Right, you know, right. Then that's more authentic. The context changes. That's more authentic. Okay. Absolutely. Well, listen, we have probably one minute. I okay. saw Kleenex is here. And I see water. Are you going to yes, make me cry? Yes, one more handshake. One more handshake. Let's okay, talk about this. Okay. Okay. Uh, close your eyes. Close oh. your eyes. All right. Okay. Open your eyes. That's the sweaty palm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is a sweaty palm. This is somebody. This is somebody that's nervous. And here's your Kleenex. Oh, I'm glad but, that's all it was for. I wasn't yes, sure where this was going. Clean, sweaty palm is somebody that is very nervous, and right. you can take that as information to help that person get more comfortable. Okay. But really quickly, if we have the time, the yeah. perfect handshake is this. Okay. The hands come together, we shake two or three times, but the most important part of a mm -hmm. handshake is eye contact. eye contact. So you shake a couple times, drop, and then maintain eye contact. And the conversation, which may only last five seconds, but if you just shake hands like this, how you doing, and walk away, then that's a disconnect. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, people can learn more about this in your yes. book, Body Language Secrets, How to Read Minds by Reading Bodies. There you go. Hey, thank you so much for sharing with us. It. I hope my body and language... that's a good handshake right there. That's a good handshake. <laughs> I hope my body language was, was okay. Make sure you stay with us. We'll be right back with more Huntley.